live from Adelaide, Australia, this is The Morning Wood. Hello and thank you for joining us. My name is Waterson Woodrow III and this is today's Top Stories. The YouTube channel Beat Em Ups is making headlines again this week with the news that the popular YouTube show The Game Quest is starting an official season one. The creator of the show, Wood, has been quoted saying, I love the first 13 episodes of The Game Quest, like they're my own children. However, it has most certainly been a learning curve for me. I feel the show's quality could be improved even further while staying true to what the show has always been. To do this, I feel the best course of action is to call the first 13 episodes the pilot season and start a higher quality official season one. The first episode of Season 1 has been dated for the 14th of February at 8pm Adelaide Australian Time, with each following episode of the season to be released the same time every fortnight. What is also stated to not worry about the lack of content between now and then, as the Morning Wood shows will always fall on the opposite week to the Game Quest on the same day and same time. And moving on, we now cross to Scott Swatch at Tampa Bay Studios to tell us something about this ridiculous new Australian price craze on retro games. Scott? Jesus, what is that? Oh, we're on! Uh, thank you, Wooderson! This is Scott Squatch reporting to you live from the Tampa Bay Studios, where we've just installed our brand new red screen, where we can project 3D images to you, the viewer at home, without the use of glasses. What's that? The screen is broken. On to today's top story. Unfortunate news, Australian game prices are invading the United States. It is a well-known fact that Australian outback game hunting can be a very expensive hobby. We spoke with a gentleman earlier today by the name of Gary Dushweiser, who just purchased a Nintendo Entertainment System for an outlandish price. George, can we roll that clip? Hey, my name's Gary, and I'm from South Carolina, and I just bought this NES for $70. Uh, it's really cool, and I... Hey, shut the f*** up! I'm on TV! Goddamn kids. Uh, but it didn't come with any games. Uh, I'll probably end up picking up Wrestlemania as my first game for like 20 bucks or something. Um, hopefully it'll be the special Titties on a Hulkster edition. Um, but anyway, uh, I just I just really like it and I think it's cool. And I want to say hi to my mom. Hey mom, I'm on the news again. This time it's not for molesting sheep. A bit too much sharing there, Gary. When questioned about why Mr. Dushweiser thought a $70 Nintendo purchase was a good idea, he said he saw a YouTube video of a scruffy Australian man paying $75 for one. And since he paid $70, he thought, and I quote, he got a pretty freaking sweet deal. Oh, it's just a really sad story. Oh, oh what's this? Um, apparently a box was just delivered to the studio and it appears to be full of Mario and Duck Hunt copies. There's there's a note. The note says, uh, these are apparently for sale and uh, they're $15 a piece. Uh, the note says, they're a lot harder to find than they used to be. They're cheap. It's a good price. Sincerely, OB, whoever that is. Um, OB, uh, I guess they can't be too hard to find because you sent us a box of them. I, I just don't understand this uh, new unfortunate Australian price craze that's happening, but hopefully we can get a wrangle on it and get it taken care of. Um, this is all from the Tampa Bay Studios. Reporting live, this is Scott Squatch. Back to you, Wooderson. And thank you, Scott Squatch. Wow, it really does seem to be getting crazy out here, doesn't it? Keep well, Scott, and keep up the good work on your YouTube channel. Oh, I made a mess in here. Uh, hey, uh, George, can you get someone in here to clean this up? I'm gonna go to the strip club. If my wife calls, you know what to do. Tell her I'm in a meeting. I'm gonna go see me some boobies. <laughs> and that brings us to Woody, live at the scene, with today's gaming traffic report. Woody, are you there? And thank you, Wooderson. I am down here at Southern Games, which you might recognize from some of the Game Quest episodes. Now, Wood picks up great deals here all the time, and well, I've done the same. 
I'm walking out today with Rayman boxed on the Sega Saturn for $10, Asteroid Boy box complete for $10 on the Game Boy Advance, a Game Boy game Wario Land 3 for $5, and Lego Harry Potter on 3DS for $10. Now, 3DS games for $10, you can't beat. So, Woody, do you have any word on any new games maybe coming in the next week or so? Yes, absolutely, Woody. I can also tell you that Fable HD comes out on the Xbox 360 on the 4th. Now, if you're a Fable fan, I would definitely recommend picking that one up because, I mean, I've been told it's the best one. But that is all from me here today at Southern Games. Please come down here and check out this great store sometime. He has great deals that you don't want to miss out on. And thank you, Woody. And unfortunately, the studio van has been called away for more important issues, so you are going to have to walk home. That's, that's a two-hour walk, Woodison. And now we cross over to Chris with the game's forecast for the next episode. Chris? Thank you, Wooderson. Now for today's game's forecast. I'm sorry, we do appear to be experiencing some technical difficulties. Oh. Oh. Um, so, there's an absolute downpour of games here. We've got our consoles as well, boxes, I'm on a time. I, I'm out of time. I, back to you, Woodison. And thank you, Stud. We do have an important announcement to make here at the Morning Wood. We have hired an on location crew over in Portland, USA. We have personally funded them $150,000 to set up state of the art equipment, and we are all are very excited to see what they have done with this money. As a little teaser for things to come, let's try and get them on the phone right now. To see what they to see what they have done with this money. Hey, dude, it's hang on, it's Waterson. Oh, it is. Yeah. Hey, Waterson, what's happening? Did you get the 150. Yeah, yeah, we got the money. Did you get the we got the van. Yeah, the whole hundred and fifty thousand dollars. We spent it all, dude. Oh, you're gonna love it. Love it. State of the art, man. Yeah, we had uh, some custom guys do all this stuff. Yeah. Are they, are they any good? Best in their field. Yep. Did you keep all the uh -huh. receipts like I asked? Um, receipts. No, we uh, really need those receipts, Terry. We, we could ask. We could ask them if they have receipts. He wants receipts, but uh, tell them we lost them. We lost a lot of the receipts, yeah. But you'll just see the proof is in the work, w Wooderson. The proof is in the work. You'll see it. It's 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 incredible, oh, Wooderson. I trust you, Terry. All right. I do need those receipts. All right. But you've never let me down before, so okay. You're a good man. You and your son have a great YouTube okay. channel. You're really honest, decent people. Thank you. All right. See you later, mate. Damn, that guy talks long. I know. Hey, do you really think he's actually gonna believe we spend 150 for this? Yeah. Okay, well I guess we're gonna have to wait until next episode to see exactly what they have spent their budget on. He'll never know. That's He'll brutal, never man. Know. Yeah, don't tell him we bought stadium events with his money. I won't. Okay. I am Woodison Woodrow III, and this has been The Morning Wood. Beat them up.